This afternoon, it's, anticip it's anticipated that the uh, Palestinian Authority will be granted some form of UN membership. And our great concern as Republicans and Democrats that this is a provocative, unhealthy step that could undermine the peace process. All of us support a two-state solution where the Palestinian people can live in a dignified fashion, a state controlled by Palestinians, secure and prosperous, side by side with an Israeli state that can live in peace without uh, perpetual fear of destruction from their neighbors. That's the only way we can resolve the Palestinian-Israeli issue. UN membership status provided to the Palestinians, I think, undermines the peace process. The last thing the UN or any other body should do is encourage the parties not to sit down and talk with each other. Long story short, the biggest fear I have, and I think my colleagues uh, have, is that if the Palestinians achieve this status, it, will be not, it won't be very long until the Palestinians begin to use the UN as a club against Israel rather than seeking peace. And our big fear is that the International Criminal Court would be available to the Palestinians potentially to file complaints against the IDF and every other institution in Israel and would marginalize uh, the Jewish state. Currently, the Palestinian Authority cannot use the International Criminal Court as a weapon against Israel. Our fear is that this new status will allow them to do so. So in response, we have come up with a bipartisan amendment that does two things. It tells the Palestinian Authority, if you uh, make a petition to the International Criminal Court uh, against the State of Israel, if you go down the International Criminal Court road, uh, that will throw the peace process in a ditch, and we believe that will undermine any chance of a peaceful solution anytime soon, and we will cut off funding. The last thing we want to do is uh, break a relationship between the Palestinians that is mutually beneficial. But today that the Palestinians use their UN status to try to marginalize uh, Israel in their national criminal court, it will be clear to us that we're investing in an unreliable partner. We are broke. I do not mind helping struggling nations because it's in our national security interest. I do not mind investi investing in people who have different views, but I will not, nor will my colleagues, support sending hundreds of millions of dollars to an entity that is going to take their new standing in the United Nations and use it in a destructive way. And I can't think of a more destructive scenario for the future of the peace process than one complaint after another being filed against the IDF. When a pilot drops a bomb in a wrong place after being attacked by Hamas or Hezbollah, that is an unfortunate incident, but we're not going to have the Israeli Defense Forces and the Jewish state uh, be sent to an international body for a political show trial. Our money will not support that kind of behavior, and it will destroy any hope of peace. So to the Palestinians, your fate is in your own hands. If you choose to use the International Criminal Court uh, as a vindictive form in trying to marginalize the peace process and go after Israel in that venue, the American people will no longer feel like you're worthy of our support. And finally, this provocative act of joining the United Nations by the Palestinians, we have warned them do not go around the peace process, do not go around Israel directly to the UN because that is a detrimental way to find peace, we will shut their office down in Washington. Their office in Washington has been open due to a waiver and a law that's been around since 1987. I believe their actions of applying for UN membership under the law will require the PLO office in Washington to be closed. Our amendment does two things. It will cut off funding to the Palestinians if they apply to the International Criminal Court against the State of Israel. It will automatically require the shutting down of the Washington office by applying for membership.